Today I'm going to talk about a topic which is very very popular and also somewhat controversial that is the subject of intermittent fasting. Now I know in the last few years this has become a very big thing because everybody wants to try intermittent fasting and people make all sorts of claims that after starting intermittent fasting their uh, symptoms went away, this went away, weight came down, sugar got under control, I stopped my insulin, I stopped my tablets, I stopped everything, I have reversed my diabetes, my liver became normal, all kinds of claims are being made. So what is the truth about intermittent fasting? First of all, is it good for somebody to fast? As a matter of fact, fasting is not a bad thing because in modern days, man eats too much and too frequently. That's one of our problems of all modern diseases that we have. So, to some extent, if we eat only when we are hungry, in other words, you leave some gap between your meals, it is actually good for you. Now, what happens is that's not what we practice in, in real life. We'll say 9 o'clock is breakfast time. So, 9, you must have breakfast. Whether you're feeling hungry or not, you must have breakfast. 12.31 is lunch time. So, 12.31, you have to eat. Sometimes your breakfast should have been so heavy that you won't feel like eating at all. Your body will be telling you, don't eat, don't eat. But because it is lunch time, you have to eat now. Okay? So, you go and eat when you're not hungry at all. That is not good for you. Your digestive juices have still not started working fully. The body is not ready for your next food to go in. So, if you wait, let's say, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and now you're really hungry, and now you want to eat, that is the most physiological way. See, if you take animals, no animal will eat if it is not hungry. You, When a lion or a lioness has already had a big meal, okay, now you go and throw more uh, meat uh, into, into the lion's mouth, it will simply throw it away. It will not take uh, the, the meal, because it has already had what it has to eat. Most animals are like that. They will not eat just for eating sake. We are the only animals on this planet who will keep on eating even if you are not hungry. It is like a compulsive uh, disease that we have that will keep on eating, eating, eating. In that sense, intermittent fasting is a good thing because people realize that when they eat only when they are hungry, they feel much better. So, from that angle, I have no qualms about intermittent fasting. I think it's good to sometimes give your your stomach a little rest. But what is the scientific basis of all other things? Saying that you can lose weight by intermittent fasting and you can get rid of your diabetes by intermittent fasting. Is this true or not? It's only partly true because I have seen people who would say that they're doing intermittent fasting, but then when the next meal comes, they eat three times of what they should be eating because they are saying, I am fasting, no, I am fasting, no. And therefore, this fasting thing gets to them and they feel that they are depriving their body of something. One meal I missed, I missed my lunch. So, now I have to make up. Uh, they feel that they will become weak if they do not eat and so on. Such people, better you do not do intermittent fasting. Because what will happen is, you will start eating too much after your next meal and that will actually do more harm. So, in a nutshell, what you have to achieve with intermittent fasting is calorie restriction. Let us say you are one who takes 1400 calories normally. You are eating three meals, two uh, snacks in between, something. But your total calories is 1400. Now, after doing intermittent fasting, you make it 1500 or 1800 or 2000. What is the point in doing intermittent fasting? You have not achieved anything. Except that psychologically you feel you have not eaten. And uh, mentally you get disturbed also that you are not uh, eating and you're fasting. So, you get more depressed and more tensed and anxious because you're not eating, not eating. You're not made for intermittent fasting. Don't do that. On the other hand, if due to this intermittent fasting, you're able to reduce your calories from 1400 to 1000 or 900 because at that time when you're not eating and totally when you add up, it comes to less. That is going to help you, not because of intermittent fasting, but because of the calorie restriction. So, what's the moral of the story? 
if you want to do intermittent fasting, see to it that there is calorie restriction. Then you may get some benefits out of it. If you are going to practice intermittent fasting without restricting your calories, you are wasting your time. You are not going to get any benefits. So, I would say intermittent fasting is good if practiced in the right way and it will probably help your digestion, help many other things as well. But it must be with calorie restriction, preferably under supervision because you should not deprive yourself of certain essential uh, nutrients in the food. Those things you should not miss out. You should not develop micronutrient deficiencies as well. So as long as it's a balanced intermittent fasting planned properly under supervision, I have no problem with it. If you're not one who likes to fast, see some people who fast will develop gastritis. So they'll say the moment I don't eat, I'll develop gastritis. Why should you do intermittent fasting? Reduce your meal and take it as small frequent feeds. That is equally good. If you are fasting for a long time, after taking your insulin or taking your tablets, the chance of you getting a low sugar is actually more. Whereas if you take small frequent feeds with calorie restriction, you can control your diabetes well, you can reduce your weight also and you won't develop gastritis and you won't develop hypoglycemia as well. So I'm not a big fan of intermittent fasting, but if people do it in their lives and remember, there's no one size fits all. All human beings are different. So depending on what you like, you go ahead and do it. But at the end of the day, you must achieve the weight loss if you're overweight and you must get your sugar under control and see that you eat a wholesome, nutritious food which is balanced in the carbohydrate, protein and fat. In India, of course, we eat too much carbohydrate. So cutting down on carbohydrate is very good. But include fruit, include vegetables, green leafy vegetables. These are very, very healthy. They are loaded with nutrients and that will give you a proper balanced diet, which apart from controlling your weight and apart from controlling your cholesterol or your sugar or your blood pressure will also make you healthy and it will prevent diseases like cancer and so on. So wish you all the best with your diet.